Hey everyone, this is Rick here in the studio. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorowitz Watercolor. Once again this year, I'm publishing a series of holiday card videos for the project page of my website. This will be the fourth year that I've done this, and if you go to the project page on my website, you'll find uh, the series for each of the four years. And for each card on the uh, project page, you'll find a link for the image of the card that I've painted, a template you can use for a drawing, and a link to each video. And you can find the link to that project page in the description of this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the link in the lower right hand corner, and don't forget to like it. So you're looking at the template for this Christmas card, a little covered bridge with a couple trees on it. And this is uh, set up to be five by seven. And you can use this on Christmas card or on cardstock, or you can just paint on regular watercolor paper. And when I draw, sometimes I'll leave uh, on my templates. I'll just leave an indicator, a, a, a vertical line, on where I want the the trees, and I just paint them in rather than try and draw them in. I rather have it a little bit more uh, free flowing. And um, what I'm going to do is on this particular one, I'm going to want it to be kind of a snowy day. Uh, which I like to do on these wintry Christmas cards or holiday cards. And so I'm going to take uh, a, a toothbrush and some liquid masking fluid. So my toothbrush has been dipped in some soapy water. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to pull the bristles back like this and let it splatter. And I'm also going to tap it on my hand. It makes bigger drops when I do that. That one there is a little too big. So I'm going to let this dry. And, and once it's dry, before I paint, I'll just peel up, peel up any, any of uh, the marks, any of the splatters that I don't care for. Um, and uh, I just need to do that before I paint, and it's not a problem. So now I'm just going to let that air dry, and then I'll begin to paint the card. We're ready to paint now that the masking fluid has dried. And I'm going to start by... Uh, putting down a, a sky wash and I'm going to be working with royal blue which is a color I, I use quite a bit and I'm going to start at the top here just a little darker maybe go with that So now I'm just going to bring this wash down. And now I'm just switching over to, to plain water. Still just plain water. I'm painting at an angle here, about a 20 degree angle. Bring this wash down. A little more pigment in this. Okay, so now I've got that wash in there. Let's see what else we're going to do here. I'm going to take some of this. And I'm going to just put a little of this kind of shadow, like there's some dip, uh, divots here in the snow right off the road, put a little path in. And I'll put a little bit here. Kind of show a bit of a slope just by painting that. Okay, and let's see. Go. Take a little of this here, right behind this 
little mound of snow and go up here and do just a little bit of a white top there and get a little darker Just a touch more of a darker value. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna take a little bit while I have this and put just a little bit of a wash on the the rooftop here, like it's got some snow on it. Okay, now I'm going to dry that. Okay, that's dry. I'm going to take a little bit more of this uh, this blue. I'm going to paint uh, just a little, like it's a mound of snow or something back here. Put that in there. I'm going to put a light wash kind of in this row just to show you know, there's a little bit of uh, variation in the contour of that, just little bumps and whatnot. And I'll take a little bit of that up here. That's probably enough. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of a lizard crimson. Let's see, yeah, maybe not. I'm going to take some of this pyro red, maybe, and add that to this blue. Give me a bit of a, a reddish violet mixture here. I'm put that down here on this side. And I'll let that uh, let get just a touch of just a touch of red in here without making it too much of a a barn red. So there's that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little burn orange. We didn't need that much, but from my royal blue. And I'm just going to mix a bit of a dark color to put inside here. Some of that royal blue, I want to be a little cooler or neutral, not too warm. So there's that. Take some of this royal blue. I'm going to just paint the edge of the roof, top, roof line here just to show some of that kind of underneath the snow that will be packed on it. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to paint a little bit more on that bar, but I want it to be dry first. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paint these uh, trees. So I'm going to get some sap green. Just a little of my royal blue. Mix some red into it to neutralize it a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put in some kind of a tree here, Christmas type tree. Another one here. Maybe I'll make one back here just, just to show the top of one.
wasn't real fond of the shape I was getting. I'm going to change that a little bit. Okay. And then I've got a little tree over here. I think this is dry enough. I can come in and paint that now. So I'm going to take just a, some alizarin, put a little bit of this royal blue, just a touch more maybe. So I'm going to paint this. Put shadow under here and just show some vertical elements here to suggest that there's a you know some boards. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of my royal blue, make just a few marks along here. Okay. Now let me uh, let me dry this. All right, so that's dry. And now what I'm going to do is take off the masking fluid with this little pickup eraser. You can rub it off with your fingers. It's just fine. All right. So there we have a snowy little scene with a covered bridge. And, uh, you know, the, the masking fluid creates that feeling of snow falling. So I'm going to you know, take that tape off. I just want to pull this tape from the paper out. I want to pull it into the paper because they risk tearing it. And let's see if we can... With this darker surface under here, you can see the little border on it where the tape was at. So there's a, just another snowy little uh, winter scene, very simple thing to paint uh, for your Christmas card to, to share with your friends and family.